Hello and welcome to another short video with a case study taken from the 12 Lead ECG I've Got the Rhythm Facebook group. This time we will be looking at a young patient whose ECG is diagnostic of an inferior STEMI and also what else we can see that tells us the culprit artery is the proximal RCA. OK, no prizes for spotting this inferior STEMI in a young symptomatic patient in his mid-30s. But what can we learn from it other than young people have heart attacks? Well, we can say from this ECG that the culprit artery is a proximal RCA and this has resulted in inferior, posterior and right ventricular myocardial infarction. But why can we say this without placing uh, right sided leads of V4R and the posterior leads of V7 to V9? In a study on identifying the culprit artery in inferior wall STEMI from the Canadian Journal of Cardiology, it was found that the best criteria to identify the RCA as the culprit was ST elevation in lead 3 greater than in lead 2 and ST depression in lead 1. And we clearly have that in this ECG, but what else is there? We also have ST depression in leads V2 and V3 with tall R waves and upright T waves, which suggest posterior involvement. So normally we would go ahead and record V7 to V9. But if you look at lead V6, we can see some slight ST elevation. Together with the findings in V2 and V3, we can say there is posterior extension. This is because lead V6 is positioned towards the posterior leads in the mid axillary line. And then we look to see what suggests right ventricular involvement. In patients presenting with inferior STEMI, an isoelectric ST segment or ST elevation in V1 together with ST depression in V2 is highly suggestive of RBMI. Again, we have those findings in this ECG. Given that the blood supply to the right ventricle comes from the right marginal artery, this further supports the RCA as the culprit and indicates a proximal occlusion. Another finding we have with this ECG is an obvious AV block and the blood supply to the AV node in the vast majority of cases, something like 90%, comes from the nodal branch off the RCA. So let's put it all together. We have an inferior STEMI with elevation in lead 3 that's greater than lead 2, together with ST depression in lead 1. Leads V2 and V3 have ST depression with tall R waves and there's slight ST elevation in V6 indicating posterior involvement. Lead V1 is isoelectric whilst V2 has ST depression that indicates right ventricular MI and we also have an AV block. All of this answers our original question of why we can say this is an inferior posterior with right ventricular MI and proximal RCA as the culprit without obtaining V4R or V7 to V9. The outcome for this patient was positive with successful stenting of the proximal RCA at the cath lab. All that's left for me to do now is list references and to say thank you for watching. Hopefully you've found this case study both interesting and informative. If you want to learn more, join us on Facebook at 12 Lead ECG, I've Got the Rhythm. Goodbye for now.